time is right, 2020. First of all, I'd like to say um, Happy New Year to you guys, to you guys, my friends, my family. I find it very awkward saying my fans. I mean, it's like very, very awkward. So, you know, I'm happy if you're watching this, it means your life. Um, it means your presence here and you can see me. I'm also alive, so I'm excited. I'm grateful to God for the opportunity to, to, to witness another year. Like, you know, there's this thing, there's this thing about something new. There's this renewed hope, um, renewed life. There's this optimism. There's this um, enthusiasm that you're happy, just like in your slate. So come on, it's something to be happy about. And ignore the distracting noise. Everywhere, I just go back from church and everywhere, knockouts. I can't even stand the sound of knockouts. What do we do? So, guys, happy new year. Welcome to 2020. I know some of you. I know it's been long ago. It's been long, Jerry. It's actually been very long. So, um, let's start. Let's do the normal, traditional, normal routine. If it's your first time joining this video or watching this page, this is um, Laura's box. As you can see, <laughs> I don't even know what to call this page. It's just like a fun um, YouTube channel where we talk about mainly reality shows and whatever it is we could actually talk about. So this is me just um, doing my first video of the year, wishing you guys a wonderful year, 2020 or 2019, 2019, I'm sure it was challenging for most of us, of course, this is life, you can't even live life without challenges, it's not possible. Um, this year or the last year, you see this is it, it's going to take like one week to get used to saying this year or last year or something. So last year, 2019 was very challenging. Like, it was like my most lonely year. I mean, I was extremely lonely, extremely, extremely lonely. Um, of course, I got out of a relationship early last year and like I always say, I'm not keen on marriage, but man, I want to fall in love, I want to be in love. I need that companionship. It gets really, really lonely. You know, you go out, the hustle and the bustle in Lagos, and you come back, there's nobody to talk to, nobody, you can't pick your phone and say, mm, hello, so babes, this is exactly what happened today. Um, so it was lonely in that aspect, but you know, I thank God for good friends. Plus, we had challenges. I had challenges. I had health challenges. I went under the knife again this year, you know. Um, yes, towards November, it was an emergency though, and I came out victorious. So it's for me, the new year is something I'm always very excited about. I was going to go to church, it's how I got tired. I woke up a bit upset, you know, just like. Mm. There are some things that I just did not achieve and I woke up grumbling, I practically slept the entire day. But when it was like 10, I just like, how am I doing at home? Like, I should go to church and actually thank God and praise God. I just wanted to dance into the video and I'm happy I did. I went to church and praised God and, you know, became extra grateful. Because to be honest with you, some people are dead, some are in the hospital bed, some are homeless. So do not move their left to their right. But oh, look at you. You have roof over your head. You're watching Laura because you are alive. Like that's why you're watching me. Let's see where die enough you watch Laura. So it's um something to be thankful about. It's something to be grateful about. You know, all those things that look like oh and you know if you at times to start counting your blessings, you will actually see that you didn't do badly. You actually did not do badly. You actually achieved some things a lot of times we try to compare our lives with what we see on social media so someone is carrying the latest bag or living in a mansion but you don't know their hidden struggles that's just the truth you're probably not doing too well but your health is perfect you know eh you can have all the money in this world and come down with one ailment and 
the doctor says, sorry, we can't anything about it. What's your money going to do for you? So a lot of times we need to stop, we need to stop counting our blessings materially and start counting those things, you know, those unseen battles that God fights for us. You go out and you come back. You don't know what God has, you know, waved off your life. You go to bed and you wake up. Some people go to bed and don't wake up. You go to bed and you wake up. You go out, you come back. You go, you go out at night and you come back. Even with all the insecurity, you travel on the road and you're back. A lot of you made trips. A lot of you made trips, countless trips, like me. So what's the middle of this year? I don't even know what happened. Bless you, I caught chain. I started going out. I would go out, I leave my house like 7 in the evening and I come back like 1 a.m. And not once, no accidents, no kidnapping, nothing. So it's enough to thank God. So guys, I wish, you know, let's pop some wine. Let's drink some wine today. Let's toast to a great life. And let's just hope that um, this year, 2020, we'll be able to achieve some or all of the things that we intend to achieve. For me, this year, I'm just, I don't have, I have nothing. I have no plans. I have nothing. You know, the only thing I just know that I just want to boost in my career. I want clarity on what to do with Laura's box. I still do not know what to do with Laura's box. I know that um, I should be bigger than what I am now. I know that I should not be. Laura's box shouldn't be where it is right now. So, I'm just asking God, God, show me what to do with this thing. Show me what to do. I don't even know. I don't know because it looks like it looks like it looks like I know what to do. Like a lot of times I have my ideas. And when it's time to actualize it, I just I'm just in a standstill. I don't know what else to do. So a lot of times it looks like okay, Laura is quiet. What is she doing? I just don't know what to do. So this is me. This year I just want clarity on what to do with Laura's box. I feel like if I know what to do with Laura's box, I would not need to carry my bag. And go to my night five job again. I feel I feel so. So this is me praying for clarity, for ideas, for suggestions, and everything from God and the Holy Spirit. Um, basically, for me, you know, with all the play and everything, I rely hundred percent on God. Yes, we can play, we can chat, we can laugh, but God. And I really want to fall in love this year. I do. I honestly, I don't even, I, no, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to talk about it. It's something I really want to actually, you know, encounter that sensible, thoughtful, respectful, realistic, caring and kind love. It's something I want to, like, you know, focus on this year. I want something fresh, something new, something symbiotic. Like, I'm feeling you. And you're feeling not the one, I don't want to be dating myself. But there's some relationships you get into. I just realized that you're the one dating yourself because the guy isn't making an effort to call is a problem. Imagine you're in a relationship with a guy and he's not calling you in two or three days. My dear, you are dating yourself. And when they call you, they have no sensible reason, just stupid excuses. Eh, I had something to do, so I couldn't call you. I was caught up somewhere. I don't want to date myself. So it's not like we couldn't have I couldn't have gotten into relationships, but those were those relationships eh, I would have been dating myself. You're not calling, you're not keeping in touch, you're not being kind with your time, you're not being kind with your thoughts. Nothing. I don't want to do that. This year. I'm not a child. I'm not a child at all. Like I'm go, I'm not a so I shouldn't be caught wasting my time even though i keep saying yes i might not be ready to settle down or if it comes fine if it doesn't come fine but at least know that you're into something respectful and something sensible so i really want to give love a try this year by the time you guys stop seeing me on twitter tweeting every time just know that i uh, one man one man has taken over my soul because i took a lot because of boredom and of nothing to occupy my time basically and um, that's it for me. Of course, of course, number one on the list. I don't want to visit the hospital this year. I want to be in perfect health, top health, top shape. I'm grateful to God I'm still alive. I can't even complain. Grateful, grateful, grateful to God. So that's it. And I wish the same for you guys. For those of you that are single and you intend to get into something meaningful with someone, I wish you guys that um, wonderful relationship. I wish you guys good health. I wish you guys long life. I pray that by this time next year, 2021, you're watching me, I'm listening to you, I'm reading from you, and I'm like, you know, looking at and seeing the great and amazing things we're all doing. 
Um, I hope that this year will be kind with our words, with our time, with our actions. The world is filled with so much um, hatred, envy, thoughtlessness. I just hope we just can practice a bit of kindness, a bit. First of all, eh, be kind to yourself and those in your, those around you before you take it out. I always say these things. Before you take it out, be kind to those around you. I really hope we can be kind. Um, that's all I have for you guys. You know, um, when December started, I was saying, ah, that's the, my own December is enjoyment December. And I wanted to warn you guys through my December. I honestly wanted to. But I think the enjoyment was too much and I lost my voice. I'm going to play a very short clip, maybe like a two minutes clip to show you guys that I really, really wanted to warn you guys through all my parties, my end of the year, everything I've been going through. I wanted, I wanted, to, guide, I wanted to let you guys into um, my personal space this, this last December. I really wanted to because I got my life home. I don't lie. I went out, end of the year parties, lounges, restaurants, I met people. You know, oh, I'm best. I tried doing a video, but I lost my voice. I did the first day. I tried doing the second day, but it's only I couldn't talk again. I couldn't speak. And if you can even listen to me now, you see I'm struggling to talk. I've still not gotten my voice fully. So, unfortunately, I couldn't run you guys through my next December. So, I'm so sorry. Um, hopefully, I'll run you guys through for an time. Who knows? Maybe I'll have a vows day. I'll run you guys through vows day. So, um, so, this is just a very short video to say thank you guys for staying true thank you guys for watching thank you guys for everything i wish you guys an amazing 2020 this 2020 you will laugh this 2020 you will sing a new song this 2020 there will be a supernatural turn around in every aspect of your lives and my own life um i pray that you know there is always something new, something fresh for me to you. So cheers and have an amazing new year. Um, do not be reckless this year. I was to tell myself that too. And let's just love ourselves, basically. There's really nothing to this life. There's nothing to this life. Just love ourselves. Forgive. Those of you are watching me now, you've been holding your friends, your family, your mother, your father in your mind for one year, two years since time to forgive. Come on, let go. It might not be easy, but let's go. You can actually do it. So forgive. Forgive those that have got to you. Open a new slate, open a new chapter. Yeah, maybe you maintain boundaries, but you know, you can actually do it. So guys, see you guys soon. And kisses. First of all, I lost my voice. So you can hardly hear me. So, dirty December, dirty December, dirty December. It's finally here and I've just realized that I'm old. Like, when, I think in November I was like, every day of December I'm going out. Every day I must go out. And I go out one day and I come back and I feel like someone dropped, um, like, 20 bags of rice on my body i don't understand and i have made commitment to people i have collected free tickets you know somebody gives you free table tickets you have to like you know you have to like appreciate it but man, i don't understand my body these days so i went out last night first of all i lost my voice just little maybe on sing to naramali hey ma what's that song ma for you lose your voice. I don't get what's going on. This is yesterday was the one of my own date that's December though because I didn't start from the first day like I said. And it's ten past ten. I should have been at this event. Today's pretty unplugged actually. And I finally had to stand up. I'm finding it hard to leave my bed. I'm finding it hard to do my makeup. Now, I'm not very, very good with my makeup. So, let's start. So, I'll see you guys when I'm done with my makeup. Yeah? Just don't go. Just wait. 
Let's see how this gets in December. Let me be serious. I feel like I'm having this because I'm just going to sleep. I feel so. But let me just try and do something not so heavy. I'm not yet a very good makeup artist. I'm giving you guys a tutorial, but no, I'm still trying. So, so how you guys? How did you guys spend your that's December? Um, do I have people in my category who went out one day and cannot continue the next day? So, so I'm almost done with my makeup. I don't have to go like nude tonight. Like just nude. I didn't want any. Um, pop of color so this is what I struggle with my lashes and somehow I just love lashes but it's still one thing I'm not very good at so I did this makeup in say seven minutes because I'm actually my friend is downstairs waiting for me so it's not exactly perfect but I had to rush so let's go and see what today's dirty December is about. I know somebody is going to say, Oh Laura, you look fine now without makeup. Don't worry, I know. I know. But I just love my makeup. Because I go to work without makeup. I only go out I only use my makeup when I go out or go to church. So I actually don't make up every time. But I love my makeup. I go to work without makeup and earrings. But you know, it's the season to be merry. So you gotta look good. So I think the, the, the hack to this lashes thing is for you to make sure my voice is killing me. To make sure the glue is almost dry. Bones is still wet, that's where the problem is. Mm. I need to rush. My friend is downstairs and I still need to dress. I wanted to wear heels tonight, but I love makeup and I love wearing heels, but I'm so exhausted. I need to wear sneakers. I wear my earrings first of all. Dirty December. I actually don't like calling it Dirty December because my own December is not dirty. In Jesus' name, where I come from, we do not call any form of negativity. I want to mind wearing. Okay, thank God. I can't even stand up because I'm not fully dressed. Before. You guys would. Oh, what am I wearing? All right. Unfortunately, I cannot overdress today because I'm tired. I just want to, you know. Just go to bed basically. So let me just clip the, the lashes properly. So it's um, ready to go. Ready, ready to go. I don't go out on my leg beads, so this is it. So it's time to dress up, guys. I see you guys in the gym. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm ready. Um. So. Let me just use 
So I figured I was going to be tired today. And I said, mm, I don't want to wear a wig. So I thought to grow my short hair. So this is a holding spray. This short hair is not easy to manage. But, you know. Just comb it out a bit. Comb out the coils. I actually rolled it today, so. This is what you use. This is not a tutorial though, but let me just show you guys so you don't start asking questions. Oh Laura, what did you use? It's just this, uh, what was this thing called? A rake comb. That's it. So, I've taken out the coils on the side of the hair. I'm trying to grow my hair. Not like great, but I'm trying to grow it. So I didn't like, um, I didn't trim it. So that's why it's fuller today. So this is me trying to like push out the curls in front. Yeah. So good to go. And I can't step out without my ring. I cannot. But because I want to look very simple today, I'm just going to do this pull of the pearls. And maybe this. That's all. What bag should I carry? What should I carry? So I'm wearing a short skirt and sneakers. Sneakers, that's it. So I just carry like a very small poster, basically. Tired. So, you can see me from there. I'm about to see what's the. Don't leave your house without money. I did not leave my house without money, my inhaler, I'll come close to you guys so don't worry. Then, yes. So when I'm stepping out, I do not leave my house without money, my card my drugs very important and my inhaler like every other thing fine but this one must get into my bag and my house key so when i get back i don't have to wake anybody so that's it ready to go for that december so so tomorrow i have um a themed um, christmas party and the theme of the party is um royalty from any part of the world and for two weeks and as you can see now i've added so much weight like extra like so much weight like I, okay for you don't you don't for those of you who do not know i had surgery um few weeks back and i had to, like the drugs i took i had to eat so much and horrible so i had so much weight so i i for like two weeks i went to search for clothes and my belly was a problem like this boom or my boobs not fitting finally i just said i can't kill myself i wanted to do that bini royalty thing but it's a night now and normally is going to play so how am i going to best say tying this um royal bead and everything it's not possible if i go hit my head for ground i just finally settled for one midi dress forgot something i forgot to use my perfume so this is um I shouldn't be advertising for anybody, so don't worry. Something really nice, though. So I don't know like going out. Strong perfume. So I love to mix. Now I love very strong perfume. I don't even use feminine perfumes at so. all. So I love to mix. And I want to go out and you like ah, what smell? What's the smell? Or what smell? What's smelling nice? <laughs> So this is my see makeup, um, blah blah blah. Yes. So this is it basically jewelry. So this is where I try to like build another face and get ready for enjoyment December. So see you guys tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Let me see if I can actually show you guys one or two things from Reading on Plug tonight.
um hi guys i still don't have my voice back so it's the next day the sahara end of the year party i told you guys yesterday i had to look for a dress i'm trying to do my makeup myself i don't want to be spending giving makeup artists my money again no more so this is me trying to like round up my makeup and um yeah as usual i'm waiting for my friends So, um, very soon I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. It's just a normal dress because I couldn't find something to wear. I'm even surprised that I'm attending this party because early this morning, so I fell ill. But I'm better now. Hopefully, I'm able to enjoy it. But I couldn't, I couldn't even fix my nails. Like, I don't, this is not what I planned. I wanted to go there looking very hot. But unfortunately, we'll manage this. I still have to style my hair. That's the truth. I have to style my hair. I pray I get it. I've never styled my weave on my wig by myself. I pray I get it. Um, so see you guys very soon. Alright guys, I don't, I don't even know. I just couldn't style this hair myself. Almost done. Here's the sets. Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's.